Welcome to English Lingua Mastery. Improve your English level by listening to this story. This story includes vocabulary, expressions, and dialogues used in everyday English conversations. Replay it many times and try to repeat after the narrators to enhance your listening and speaking skills. Listen carefully. Sarah was sitting at the kitchen table, a clear expression of frustration on her face. She turned to Marie, her closest friend, who was sitting across from her, sipping her coffee. Marie, you won't believe what happened to me. Sarah began, her tone tinged with annoyance. What's going on, Sarah? Asked Marie, placing her cup on the table. My roommate decided to move out without notice exclaimed Sarah, her eyebrows furrowed. And now I have to find a new apartment in a very short time. Marie narrowed her eyes, clearly surprised. Oh, wow, really? And you have no idea where you're going to go? Sarah shook her head. No, I'm completely lost, but I need to find something quickly. Sarah was sitting at her desk, scrolling through apartment listings online when her phone rang. She answered eagerly, hoping it was a response to one of her inquiries. Hello, miss. This is James, your real estate agent. I'm delighted to assist you in your apartment search. Do you have any specific preferences for your future accommodation? He asked in a professional yet friendly voice. Relieved to hear a real estate agent pick up her call, Sarah responded promptly. Hello, James. I'm pleased to speak with you. Yes, I have a few criteria I'm looking for in a new apartment. Perfect. I'm all ears. What are these criteria? James asked, taking note of her preferences. Sarah took a deep breath before starting. Firstly, my budget is quite tight. So, I'm looking for an affordable apartment, preferably in a quiet and secure neighborhood. I would also like it to be close to public transportation since I often work from home. James nodded, jotting down notes on his computer. Understood. Do you have a specific price range in mind? Sarah thought for a moment before replying. I would say between 600 and 800 euros per month, including utilities. I'll search for options within that price range. Do you have any preferences in terms of size or specific amenities? James asked, attentive to her needs. Ideally, I'd like an apartment of at least 40 square meters with a dedicated space for my office. Access to an outdoor area like a balcony or a shared garden would also be a plus, explained Sarah. Very well. I'll look for apartments that meet these criteria, and I'll get back to you as soon as I have some interesting options, assured James. Sarah warmly thanked James for his help and hung up feeling relieved to know that she had a competent professional by her side in her apartment search. When Sarah and James, the real estate agent, entered the building's lobby, they were greeted by Adam, the security guard, who was there to guide them. Hello, welcome to our residence. I'm Adam, the security guard. He said enthusiastically, adjusting his uniform. Are you looking for an apartment? You're in the right place. Sarah smiled politely. Yes, indeed. We're going to visit apartment number 304. Perfect. If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to ask me. Adam declared with a broad smile. They followed Adam to the elevator, and during the ride to the third floor, he didn't miss mentioning the building's amenities. We have a fully equipped gym on the ground floor, open 24 7 for residents. He explained. And the community garden at the back is a great place to relax and enjoy the outdoors. Sarah nodded, impressed by the building's facilities. That sounds fantastic. I'm sure it will be a nice place to live. Once they arrived on the third floor, Adam led them to apartment number 304 and opened the door for them. Sarah entered, carefully examining each room while James took notes. This apartment is a bright and spacious two-room unit, Adam explained. The living room offers a beautiful view of the nearby park, and the kitchen is fully equipped with modern appliances. 
Sarah nodded, appreciating the details Adam provided her. That's really charming. And the bedroom? Adam smiled. The bedroom is quiet and comfortable, perfect for a good night's sleep. Plus, there's plenty of storage space throughout the apartment. Sarah turned to James with a smile. I think I've finally found the one I need. After several visits, Sarah had finally found what she had been searching for so long, an apartment that seemed to be made for her. She was sitting on a park bench, her phone in hand, eager to share the news with Marie. Marie, you'll never guess what happened. I found the perfect apartment, exclaimed Sarah, her heart beating with excitement. Really, that's awesome, Sarah. Tell me all about it, replied Marie, enthusiastic. Sarah took a deep breath, trying to calm her overflowing excitement. Well, first, let me tell you, it's been quite a day. James, the real estate agent, took me to visit several apartments in different neighborhoods. We started early this morning, exploring studios, lofts, and two-bedroom apartments. Some were too small, others too expensive, but I had a good feeling as soon as I walked into this one. Marie listened attentively, captivated by Sarah's story. And then, when we arrived in this peaceful neighborhood, I felt like it was the right place. The apartment was spacious and bright, with large windows letting in sunlight. The kitchen was modern, with stainless steel appliances, and there was even a small balcony where I could put plants. Wow, that sounds amazing! exclaimed Marie, impressed by Sarah's description. Yeah, and the best part is that the rent is completely affordable, within my price range, Sarah added with a radiant smile. I think I've finally found my home. Marie was thrilled for Sarah, sharing her relief and happiness. They talked for hours, exchanging anecdotes about the apartment hunting day and envisioning all the exciting possibilities this new chapter in Sarah's life would bring. Sarah was sitting at her kitchen table, surrounded by boxes and stacks of clothes to pack when she realized she would need help with her move. She pulled out her phone and dialed the number of a local moving company. Hello, moving company with you. How can I assist you? Answered a voice on the other end of the line. Hi, my name is Sarah. I would like to get a quote for a move. She said, her voice slightly nervous. Of course, Sarah. Could you give me some details about your move? Asked the company representative. Sarah explained the size of her apartment, the distance of her move, and the items she needed help moving. After a few minutes of discussion, the representative provided her with a quote. The total cost of your move would be 400 euros, all inclusive. This includes transportation, packing of fragile items, and unloading at your new apartment. He explained... Sarah nodded, satisfied with the quote. That sounds perfect. Thank you very much. Can we set a date for the move? Absolutely, Sarah. We have availability starting next week. Can I suggest next Saturday at 9 a.m.? The representative proposed. Sarah quickly considered. Yes, that works for me. Thank you again for your help. After confirming the details of the move, Sarah hung up the phone relieved to know that everything was arranged for the big day. The day of the move had finally arrived. Sarah and Marie were ready to tackle the challenge, but they knew they would need help transporting all their belongings to the new apartment. They eagerly awaited the arrival of the moving team. A few hours later, a moving truck pulled up in front of the building. Two men in uniform stepped out, wearing safety vests and helmets. Hello, we're from the moving company. We're here to help you move, said one of the men with a smile. Hello, thank you for coming so quickly, replied Sarah, relieved to see their prompt arrival. 
The movers quickly took over, loading boxes and furniture into the truck with efficiency. Sarah and Marie watched them work, relieved to see the job progressing smoothly. You can trust us, ladies. We'll take great care of your belongings, assured one of the movers, noticing their concern. Sarah smiled, grateful for their professionalism. Thank you very much for your help. We trust you. Together, they worked throughout the day, moving furniture and carefully organizing belongings in Sarah's new apartment. After moving into her new apartment, Sarah finally felt at home. As she unpacked her belongings and decorated her new space, she was interrupted by a gentle knock on the door. She opened it to find her neighbor, Mrs. Dupont, a warm and friendly woman. Hello, Sarah. I just wanted to welcome you to our residence, she said with a smile. If you need anything, don't hesitate to let me know. Sarah smiled, touched by her kindness. Thank you so much, Mrs. Dupont. That's very kind of you. Later in the day, Sarah called Marie to share her happiness and relief at finally being settled in her new apartment. Marie, you can't imagine how happy I am right now. I truly feel at home in my new apartment. Sarah said with enthusiasm. That's so wonderful, Sarah. I'm so happy for you. Marie replied sincerely. You've been through so much to get here, but now you can finally relax and enjoy your new home. Sarah nodded, a radiant smile lighting up her face. Yes, that's exactly it. And I'm so grateful to have had your support throughout this journey. The two friends talked for hours, sharing memories of their quest for the perfect apartment and looking forward to all the new adventures that awaited them in this new chapter of Sarah's life. Thank you for watching. Remember, listening continuously is the key to mastering any language. Replay our stories anytime to boost your English skills. So keep those headphones on and listen. Whether during your day or while you sleep, practice makes perfect. If you like this way of learning, please subscribe and write your impression in the comments. See you next video.